Hey DC, I'm Blake. And I'm Jared. And here are your current events for Monday, November 3rd. Congratulations to the Panthers and Lady Panthers cross country teams for winning the regional titles this past Saturday at Yellow Creek Park. Congratulations to the Panthers soccer team on a great season as they fell short in the quarterfinals of the state soccer tournament. Here are the results for the Western Kentucky University Fall JV Academic Tournament held this past Saturday. The DC team of Mason, Clark, Eli Cooper, Carly Sanders, Max Smith, and Stephen Ward placed fourth. Congratulations to Stephen Ward as he received an award for having the fourth highest points per game for all players in the tournament during preliminary pool play. In preliminary pool play, DC versus Louisville Manual won 430 to 235 versus Edmondson B won 535 to 100 versus Louisville Manual B won 435 to 220 versus Henderson County won 340 to 285 and North Oldham they won 440, 445 to 145. In seeded pool play versus Campbell County, they lost 245 to 505. Versus Central Magnet of Tennessee, lost 230 to 525. And Louisville Manual A lost 295 to 380. Congratulations, DC JV academic team. From Miss Selby, FCC LA members need to stop by Miss Selby's room, room 124 this week this week to get information about volunteering at Smothers Park Fall Festival this Saturday. Any interested junior living in a home powered by Kenergy and have a 3.0 GPA should consider applying for the Washington Youth Tour. Applica applications are online under the guidance tab or you can see Mrs. Powers in the guidance office. Apps must be received by December 31st and a thousand word essay is required by January 15th. See Ms. Powers and guidance for more information. The Council for Exceptional Children needs volunteers for the Downtown Fall Festival to support disability awareness Saturday, November 8th at Smothers Park. Volunteers are needed for face painting, tattoos, and serving our homemade chili at the Chili Cook-Off. A sign-up sheet is on the board outside of room 168. See Ms. Gilbreth in room 168 if you have any questions. From Ms. Norris, attention first and second block photography students from last nine weeks. Please pick up your photography assignments by this Friday. After that time, they will be discarded or given away. Attention students, today starts November and DCHS is going to have a contest for the best mustache for Made in Movember instead of having No Shave November. If you're interested in participating, then you need to start off with a fresh look starting today. Students will vote for their favorite teacher and student mustaches during lunch on, mo on the Monday and Tuesday before Thanksgiving break by putting money in jars. All the money will be donated to Nickel Wars. See Coach Hall for more information if interested in participating. From Ms. Gaddis. There are several students who have charged student IDs. Please check your student emails as Ms. Gaddis has notified all students who have an obligation. Thank you for taking care of this obligation as soon as possible. Don't miss out on this awesome summer opportunity. The Governor's School for Entrepreneurs, GSE, is a residential summer program where creative, free-thinking teens are empowered to share and develop their ideas for innovative products and services in an exploratory learning environment. GSC will be held June 21st to July 11, 2015. There is no minimum GPA, no test scores, and it is no cost to the student to attend. GSC is a great opportunity for students in engineering, IT, biomedical, business and marketing, graphic design, robotics, and FBLA. Apply online at KentuckyGSE.com. Students may apply as an, as an individual or as a team of two, three, or four. Details, FAQs, and more information can be found on the GSE website or talk to Mrs. Powers in guidance. Both underclassmen and seniors will have picture retakes on Monday, November 10th. If underclassmen ordered a picture packet, they need to bring that packet and return it to the, the photographer when they sit for their pictures. Senior girls need to either wear or bring a camisole for the senior retakes. From Mrs. Perkins, students who are interested in joining Future Business Leaders of America, FBLA, can pay your membership dues now to Ms. Perkins in room 158. Dues are $12. You must have one business class per year to compete at the conferences. <laughs> the deadline to register for the December 13th ACT test is this Friday. Log on to ACT.org to register for the December 13th test. Any questions, please see Ms. Powers in the guidance office. All DCHS students are invited to attend any or all of the following ACT prep sessions. Sessions will take place in the CCR room and begin at 3.20, ends at 4.25 p.m. These prep sessions will be given and will give an overview of the ACT, share test taking tips, and will provide study materials. Please see Ms. Colbert in the CCR room for more information. The next session will be held on Monday, November 17th. 
From Mr. Norris, any DCHS student wishing to enter art in the Brescia University High School art exhibition may get, in, may get information from any art teacher or the bulletin board in the art department. Entries are only $2 and there are cash prizes to the best in each category. Works need to be submitted to the art teachers by Monday, November 3rd, or you can take them to Brescia by yourself Friday, November 7th or Saturday, November 8th. Entry forms must be filled out in advance. From Ms. Amber J. Hall, senior ad letters have been mailed home to senior parents. Ads range from $50 to $125 for the yearbook. Have your parents reserve your senior ad before the deadline today. Here's what's going on today at DC. There's nothing on the schedule for this afternoon, but everyone has a day off tomorrow because of election day. That's all your news for today. Have a great day. Enjoy your day off tomorrow, and we'll see you back here on Wednesday. Stay classy, DC.